Hello there. This video is premiering on Yuri Gagarin Day. What? You haven't heard of Yuri? Well, on April 12, 1961, 60 years ago today, Yuri, a brave Russian cosmonaut, became the first human in outer space after he climbed into his Vostok 1 rocket. This was a major milestone in the space race, but it was a huge catalyst in science and technology. It made space real for people and what we could accomplish. Yuri holds a special place in my heart because, well, it's my birthday. When they lit the rocket that carried Yuri into space, it lit the fires of interest for science and technology in humanity. With my mom's encouragement, I've always been interested in science and tech, and playing with radios in an early age was part of that. So if you're watching this on April 12, 2021, celebrate Yuri's accomplishment and that 60th anniversary. And, of course, my birthday. Because as Yuri was blasting off on his adventure, I was starting mine. So with that, let's get started. Good morning. N1CLC here looking uh, for my pal, Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, Josh. You had to say that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Trailhead with Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel. Uh, going up uh, Circle Mountain. Where have you been all day, man? Uh, I spent the earlier part of this morning up on Table Mountain waiting for this guy to get here. You had to say that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, small snafu, but he got, the, he got another uh, activation in really easy. We're going to try for Islip. Uh, the road was closed up into that area. You could get into Baden Powell, but we decided to do this one as a guaranteed summit here. Should take us about an hour. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going, man. Do a little soda. Good roll. All right. Yeah, Daryl and I do this all the time when, uh, for summit to summit parties, we'll set up two antennas in, you know, two different directions. Okay. And sometimes even a third uh, infed. And that way we can, uh, if we're trying to get summit to summits, we can switch between those antennas and, and see which one's the best. Sometimes it makes a huge difference. Okay. Sometimes you're like, the north-south dipole, don't hear anything. The east-west one, you know, five, five. So gotcha. it's fun to do that. We only do that for like summit to summit parties and stuff. Okay. Look at that view. They set up a chair for us and everything. I packed my stupid chair up here for no reason. Yeah, got a shade. I mean, what could go wrong? Watch Whiskey Uniform 7 Hotel, the master at work. How about master? Okay, here we go. There's Daryl. Liz just popped up on 40. Well, 
he's working. Let's take a look at his antenna setup. So he's running that dipole, link dipole, very simple. Just measure it out and uh, cut some links. So as you can see, he's just using spade connectors here for, um, for his connectors. Very simple. Spade or, no, these are little mini banana plugs um, that he's got set up. So he's got two links in there. Yeah, so he's running 20 meter because his whole side is, is, is shut down. So looks like he can run uh, 20, 30, 40 maybe. And the other side set up the same way. So link dipole, uh, pretty simple setup. So let's see if we can get a close up of this. You can see the little tiny mini banana plugs. Although it is connected, it's isolated from the top part of the antenna by the next um, banana plug. So um, that's probably one of the most prevalent antennas I've seen up here, as long as along with NVEDs. Uh, they're so easy to build, they're super lightweight, and uh, he only has it about 10 to 15 feet off the ground. And he's just killing it over here. So really great signal reports. How are your signal reports? Uh, is it still as long as you thought it was? 20? Yeah. No, no, it's just, it, it's, there's QSB. Yep. I've got his summit. Okay, that was with AC1Z, Robert. It's on to summit. Um, we traded the key back and forth on a few summit to summits. Um, that was cool. <clears throat> Josh worked 20. I just finished working uh, 30. Good pile up on 30. Great pile up on 30. Uh, Josh worked somebody in Sweden. Work in France, so uh, pretty good setup up here. Beautiful day for it. Um, we just jumped over to 40. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can work the locals now. We're doing the old uh, Daryl and Josh show here, but it's the uh, Chris and Josh. Yeah. Trading the key back, back and forth on the summit to summits. They got the first one, right? Yeah. The, the one that's closest in. The one that's closest to the center. Yeah. Okay, good. So Circle Mountain, how many contacts you do? I don't know, probably maybe 40. Quite a few. I filled up several log pages. And you had like on 40 meters a massive pileup. Yeah. On CW, you got a few on side band. Um, and you got five seven to summits. Yep, that's about right. One more than me, you dog. Sorry. I lost a guy on side band. I think the guy's battery died or something because he was gone, it's gone. Weird. Yeah. Happened. Um, wind came up. It got cold up there. It did. So we were both putting on jackets. And uh, so we're heading over to Strawberry Hill. Yeah. Josh thinks it was a drive up. I'm pretty uh, sure it's a drive up. It's if it's not, it's probably, you know, a tenth of a mile hike or something. What were you going to say, Josh? Oh, I was saying it's been activated like almost 70 times, so you know it's going to be easy. I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, the low-hanging fruits of California here. Yeah. These are the easiest points I've ever gotten in soda in my entire career here. <laughs> <laughs> soda. It's not just a hobby. It's a career. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah, so what got you into soda? What got me into soda? Well, I've been, I was a ham already. 
and uh, I went to a really fun uh, QRP camp out event that's called SalmonCon and uh, the guys there were uh, some of the some of the people that had started uh, started our association W7W and <clears throat> heard more about that and they took me on my first soda it was uh, Bill and Rich my my soda Elmers and uh, they did not know what they had unleashed on the world because I got addicted to it pretty quickly and it's been uh, it's been super fun I started in uh, what about July 2017 and uh, oh. it's been a blast it's the most fun I've had in ham radio by far I started in October 2017, I believe. So, yeah. When did you get your license? Um, I got my license in 2000. Okay. And then I got my general, I think 2002 or something like that. And, um, I waited a long time to get my extra just because I didn't care about it. I had no reason until I started doing a CW and I wanted a shorter call sign. So then I went and took the test so I could get a shorter call sign. Okay. So you've been doing CW for at least 10 years, right? Well, I started out, yeah, I, I, I learned it well enough to get my general because you still had to pass the test back then, but it was only five words per minute. And I didn't do anything with it and forgot most of it. Had a couple of full starts with it, but it's been probably uh, since 2015 that I really kind of started making an effort to, to get better and faster at it. And since I've been doing soda, you know, that's helped a lot. When did you start doing CW? Um, I think, well, I learned five word per minute well enough to pass the general in the early 2000s, but then I didn't use it, forgot it. And uh, probably about 2015 is when I started up again. Okay. Learning and, and so yeah, so it's been about probably since 2015. Okay, about five years. I've been doing, now, well, passable CW for about a year, maybe. Readable. We won't say passable. <laughs> That's being a little too generous, but uh, I'm getting there. I really need to stay practicing every night. Yeah. You know, you work all day. The problem is you work all day, and then in the evening, you're kind of fried. You just don't feel like getting on the practice mode, but you got to do it. Get there, though. I'm getting there. What was the call sign I had the hardest time with? It was like W7... BWZ. Yeah, something like that. He sent it to you. What, 15? Times, and then finally he dropped his speed down to like eight <laughs> words per minute and gave you the remedial version. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> By that time I had it, I was just laughing my butt off. But uh, thank you. Thank you for being so patient. You had it written down, right? You were just having a hard time sending it back to him, right? Yeah, I sent it back to him. I screwed it up and he's like, okay. This guy clearly is not getting it. Uh, that was too funny. Fun and games up here on the mountain. Lots of snow still. Give you a quick pan around. The San Gabriel's here. Real pretty. Melting off. Um, that's a gnarly climb right there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to come back up here and, and do a Baden-Powell. Uh, I'll do Table Mountain when I do that. I'll, I'll double those. Uh, I didn't get up here soon enough, so Josh is like, all right, losers stay in the car. Winners go to the top of the mountain. So I was a loser in this case. But anyway, we're going to head down to the car and jet over to Strawberry Hill. Oh, that's JFD. That's Jamie. There he is. Oh, sweet. Yep, that's him. Thanks, Gregory. Thanks for getting us both Summit to Summit. That was awesome. Yeah! Gotta love it. CPR said he'll work you. He's in his truck. I just lost him. Is he on a Summit? No. 
Did you get the... Okay, 20 contacts with a couple uh, summit to summits for me. How'd you do, Josh? Pretty good. Several su summit to summits and a huge run on 40 meters CW. Yeah, it's crazy today. 40 yep. meter was 40s just is hot down here. Super, super hot today. But I'd say today is hotter than normal. It's good. Really good. Good yeah. conditions. Flat yeah. Summits. Well, up here, it's two meter, a little difficult because we have all this RF up here. It's just crazy. So, a little bit tough on two meter. We did get. Got a few. Yeah. Half dozen? Yeah. Half dozen contacts. So, yeah, all in all, a good day. Um, double summit for me, triple summit for Josh. So, he's killing it up here in SoCal. Points. So, we're going to send him back to Washington and make him stay there for a while. It's making me look bad, which isn't too hard, but anyway. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. If you're interested in this hobby, uh, go out and check my series called Soda 360. There's a four part series on doing activating and then uh, some other videos on chasing, improving your uh, CW chasing skills or uh, CW skills and uh, hopefully more in the future. So 73, let's roll the credits.